Oh, what's going on everybody? It's Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. Today, yep, we're uh, we're pouring some rock. It's, oh, it's gorgeous outside, absolutely gorgeous outside. It's a little above 60 degrees, and man, way too nice to not be outside doing something, doing some filming. So I'm taking the opportunity in case the weather gets nasty again. We're gonna put, we put down some rock. I wanna rock! That opportunity because everything is, as you can see, is getting nasty and muddy around here. That's nasty. So it's time to put some rock down on the drive. So we can try to save our vehicle somewhat from all the sloppiness that comes down on this hill that we live on. Uh, that was just the first load. We're gonna put the second load up here. We'll actually use that for the chicken coop, the walkway there inside the chicken coop. We've got some repairs down below and then also we're gonna put some up by the goat pen in our in our fire pit area so we're not sitting in the mud and stuff when uh, those wet days when we're having a fire. But I wanted to say thank you to everybody who emailed those county officials. Now, I haven't gotten word back from them. They haven't talked to me. They haven't reached out to me about it. But I just know all those emails and phone calls and everything that you guys are doing, it's gotta be doing something good for me. And I really appreciate you guys reaching out there. It just shows that common people like us in numbers, we have a voice against people who are trying to uh, rule, you know, because they're in a higher position than us. But nonetheless, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I will keep you guys updated on the situation, but so far, nothing, nothing yet, but keep at it. I'll post the video up top for those who don't know what I'm talking about. And if, uh, you guys care to and you haven't yet be sure to hit that subscribe button because i always say it does us a lot of good around here and it don't cost you nothing oh boy oh boy oh boy so we got some scraps that we're going to give to the chickens because they're out and about loving the fact they're in this warm weather and out of that freezing cold coop so i had to i had to shed the sweatshirt though <laughs> it's that warm out and i absolutely love it Guys, my mood is so much better. This warm weather, God, it's a breath of fresh air, I'll tell you what. There's nothing that gets you out of those winter blues like a good spring day. Well, I don't know if spring's official yet, but nonetheless, it sure does feel good. So we're gonna give these chickens something good to eat to celebrate this nice warm day. What's up, everybody? What's up? Got some scrumptious. Food here. Oh, you guys, you guys probably don't like uh, trash though, huh? Here's some potatoes. Yeah. I'm probably the only one with chickens with high cholesterol, I'll tell you what. Oh, some good old lettuce too. <laughs> like I said, I'm probably the only person with chickens that have high cholesterol. Oh, there's more Sally Kit stuff in there. Hey guys, let me grab this out of the way real quick. You guys don't want to eat this stuff. Figure we'll take some time out and relax and hang out with the chickens while we're waiting on that second load of rock to show up. Now, we'd go see the goats, but guys, it is way too muddy up there. And the only time we're gonna be going up there today is to give them a little feed. And I'm not really wearing the shoes for that because I just got off work, so I have to get the muck boots on before we head up top. Woo, guys. You enjoying that, that good grub grub? I don't know if I can get a, uh, a picture of them, but uh, hey, hey, unfortunately, He's fine, he's alive, but he took a hard hit when it came to uh, frostbite this year. Those uh, rigid temp, those those frigid temperatures, they really, they really put him in a bad spot. So we're gonna try to treat him and make sure that we're healing his frostbite, but he pretty much lost his whole comb. And uh, unfortunately, Whalen didn't make it. Uh, we found him on the bottom of the coop. He had passed on and we couldn't really see anything with him. He didn't have any frostbite 
or anything like that. He had just passed on and he was he wasn't doing very good anyway. His tail feathers weren't growing back and he was just having a hard time. There's Hey Hey. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he's got some he got some bad frostbite on his pretty much lost his whole comb. I'll try to get a closer look. Our other rooster over there, Hey You, I think is what we named him. He's doing pretty good. But hey, hey, you can look at his comb. He's just, he took a big hit. What you doing, girl? You kind of, you kind of walking low. A little low rider. I don't really got any chickens. I don't have any chickens that have kind of like those poofy legs. She must just be riding that low. Yeah, see, look. He lost his whole comb to frostbite. He's doing good, though. If you guys worry about the whole frostbite situation and whether or not, you know, the birds will make it or not, the that stuff just dies and it falls off. It's not... I can't say it's not uncomfortable, but he's not, like, in really agonizing pain where I have to, you know, euthanize him or take him to the vet or something, you know. He just... It's just got to die off and fall, and then we just put some Neosporin on it, treat them, and send them on his way. Ooh, it looks like they've been using their dust bath, too. So I've been putting ashes in here from my uh, fireplace in my shop, and they've been kind of using this as a uh, little dust bathing area, so that's good. Oh, no. That's not good. Guys, I think... Uh, think we got a, a dead bird that's the other thing it comes with comes with letting your birds out is the hawks and everything kill your birds and this one's mi not missing its head hey hey you okay you okay what's going on guys this is really weird I don't have a dead bird it's just laying in the snow Hey girl, you doing all right? Huh? Did you get attacked? Huh? You walking? Huh? You okay? I don't see any. I don't see any bites or puncture wounds on you. But you are definitely not doing good. Oh. Let's, get, let's get you taken care of. What's wrong with you? Kind of holding your head down? Let's go somewhere where we can get a closer look at this one. Can you guys tell me anything about what's going on with Smith Thang over here? Because she ain't looking too hot. One of y'all know something. Somebody gotta be speaking up. All right, all jokes aside though, I'm just gonna set her there until we can get her up to the house. I'll put her in a cage. We're gonna give her a shot of some medicine, some antibiotics. So if she's sick, we'll give her a chance to bounce back and then we'll try to get her hydrated. But I wanna check the coop and make sure we don't have any more sick birds in here. Any sick birds? No sick birds? Uh, we're gonna put down the window. Get some ventilation in here. I think we're pretty much done using heat lamps. Ooh, it's so soppy. Soppy. Well, y'all, y'all have a good time enjoying your food. I'm gonna get this sick uh, sister, you guys, up to the house, get her a shot, try to make her bounce back. Yep, you're losing your balance and everything. Ooh, man, what's going on with you, girl? What you feeling like? Hmm? She making little squeaky noises. Little moans. You're not egg bound or nothing, are you? She's got real droopy eyes, though. Oh, all right, let's get you, let's get you situated. See if we can get you to bounce back. The good news is, is 
you be living in the Ritz here for a few days. We bringing the chicken inside, y'all. Oh, I love this. It's a nice big rock. Nice big rock. We haven't got up there yet. We're working on it. Oh, this all has to get done. I just don't like it. For a long time, I've been buying this real small rock in these fines and it's not washed. And it just packs down like mud. And I'm not really having a lot of big rock to agitate up. So finally, pulled the trigger, busted out the wallet as much as I hate to do that. Bought me some larger rock. This is about, this is about inch and a half road rock. We call it limestone, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to be really happy about having this on my drive. Say bye to the dump truck. My dump truck. Bye. My dump truck. Okay, so we got the chicken all doctored up, and I've got her sitting out in the sun because I found her in the snow, so I just wanted her to get warmed up. So. I'm gonna let her warm up a little bit since I found her just sitting in the snow. God knows how long she'd been sitting in the snow. So we put that good RX on her nose and beak, kind of like a mentholatum, and then we gave her a shot of antibiotic. Try to try to get her to bounce back, and then we're gonna take her inside. We'll put a nice little heat lamp near her, or next to a heater, should I say? And uh, we're gonna put some of that good RX in her water, get her some food, and just uh, let her relax a little bit. With these, uh, I got a feather in my mouth. With these changing temperatures, who knows what could be wrong with her. It could be something along the lines of just the cold. And like I said, the change in temperatures that just throw people and birds and stuff out of whack. And she could just be, you know, suffering from a little cold or a little sickness. But we'll give her the best shot we can and get her bounced back to health. Ain't that right, Chicky Poo? We'll keep an eye on Miss Thing here and uh, go from there. But man, I like I said, I just really want to say thank you to everybody who supported me and emailed the six pack. Because, um, you know, even if it does no good whatsoever, even if it doesn't resolve any of these issues that I'm having, at least they'll know that some people just won't turn over and... Uh, some people just won't roll over as easy as they think. And you guys have done a great job in showing them that people do have a voice and you can't be pushing people around. You guys enjoying the new ride? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh. Yep, that's what we did to it. What, first? First 10 minutes? Yep. We, uh, boy and I both backed it off a trailer or the boy and I both backed it off the trailer and well we tipped the damn thing backwards and uh we went tumbling down backwards off the trailer and I busted my head up pretty good and he scratched his leg up pretty good and got some bruised fingers so we can't have nothing nice around here because dad doesn't think before he starts backing things off trailer so we kind of damaged the hood but we're working on parts with that and I got a little bit up here and we busted the running board not too bad how you like it bud 
fun. You gonna introduce your friend with a mouthful of food? <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, guys, but his friend Aaron has a YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel about? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Just random stuff. Well, from what video, the first video he has out, I've seen, he, uh, he does dirt bikes and he does fort building and things like that. So, Aaron, I got about 6,000 subscribers, not a whole lot, but maybe some of them will come and sub to your <laughs> channel and you can make this kid's day by giving him a few hundred subs just for him starting his YouTube channel. What do you guys think about that? That'd be awesome, huh? Oh, now I waited for him to take a bite of food before <laughs> I asked him what his YouTube channel name is. <laughs> Hurry up, you got too fast, but don't choke. Your mom, will, your mom will probably never let you come back over. Uh, just look up Aaron Hinman, Hidden Fort. Boom, you got it, guys, look up. Aaron Hinman, Hinman? Hinman. Hidden Fort, it's his first video. Go check him out. Oh boy, so we never got much back to the rock. It's pretty windy out, my head's hurting pretty bad from that little spill we took right down here. And uh, yeah, but boy seems to be liking it. It's pretty pretty fast. I don't, I can't remember what the brand is on this thing, but it's a three speed automatic and has horns, blinker, has horn blinker, backup lights, tail lights. It's 125 cc. It's pretty fun. I, and I don't think he's gonna kill himself on it either. As long as I'm not driving it, right guys? Mm -hmm. So I'll let you guys get back to your lunch. <laughs> I know it's another day, but things got a little complicated when I went and picked this up and hurt myself. So <sighs> all in all, not bad. Things are shaping up. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next episode. See you guys.